Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through the anterior draw test for the ankle joint. And the main purpose of this test is to see whether or not our patient has a tear of the ATFL, which is the anterior talofibular ligament. Now, as we said, it's called the anterior draw test. And the classic way that you might see this in the textbooks is whereby we stabilize the distal tibia. We have one hand cupping underneath the calcaneus with our forearm resting on the foot, and we draw upwards like so. That's why it's called the anterior draw test. But actually, we're going to show you in more detail a different way of testing. And that's because we find that this way is easier to reproduce and is also easier for um, you if you're just starting out. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our patient's knee into approximately 90 degrees of flexion. We then have one hand stabilizing over the dorsum of the foot to ensure that the foot doesn't move. And then our other hand is in a C-shaped position where the whole palm is resting on the distal tibia. And we want to make sure that we're just above the talocrural joint. We don't want to be uh, the distal tibia but higher up. We want to be right against the joint line or just proximal to the joint line. From here, as we said, our lower hand is stabilizing. Our other hand is providing an anterior posterior force of the tibia against the talocrural joint. And what we're feeling for here, or what would constitute a positive outcome, would be increased laxity of the movement relative to the other side. So therefore, if we felt that our patient had more excessive movement on the left leg compared to the right leg when we did the two, that may indicate to us that our patient has a tear of the ATFL. So the increased laxity would be a positive outcome. So do we like this test? Absolutely. We use it in clinical practice if we suspect instability of the ankle joint and if we suspect our patient has an ATFL tear. Once again, you, uh, we've used the position in the test today because we think it's easier to reproduce and hopefully you can pick that up and use it in your clinical practice. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon right here on Clinical Physio.